We live in a time where starting a business is more accessible to anyone and anywhere. And when I launched my first business in college and started taking advantage of resources on the internet, it changed my business mindset forever. I would use Alibaba.com to source my products and have orders shipped directly to my customers. All from my computer while I was traveling around the world. So when Alibaba.com approached me about sponsoring a video, I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to share the steps I took in building a successful online business. So as most of you guys know, I started a clothing business out of my tiny dorm room and by the time I graduated college, I was able to turn it into my full-time business. And I've shared that story with you guys before, but in this video, I wanted to share the key secrets that I learned that I think would help anyone else who is looking to start their own online business. Since I do think everyone at some point of their life should attempt to try and start a business. With resources like Alibaba.com, it does make it easy and accessible for anyone with internet access to start an online business. Alibaba.com hosts millions of different merchants and manufacturers from around the world. They really help make starting an online business have low barriers to entry and make it possible for anyone to do it digitally. With Alibaba.com, you're able to spend less and sell more. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys five key tips that will help you be successful when starting an online business. About to give you guys the keys to the kingdom. So here are some questions you should ask yourself when trying to think of what product you should sell. What are the things you're passionate about? What do you buy a lot of? What do you think you can sell? What do you think you can do differently than the competitors? You guys get the idea here. These are just a good starting point of things you should be thinking about when brainstorming what product you do want to start selling. But it also comes down to trial and error. Maybe selling water bottles doesn't work for you, but maybe selling wallets does. For me, that was clothing, since I was very passionate and knowledgeable about it, as well as my grandfather ran a textile company. So growing up my whole life, I always knew a lot about fabrics. As well as I knew that the clothing industry as an average had around 70% profit margins, which is very good and better than most other products. Also starting a clothing company, I feel like has very low barriers to entry where I feel like anyone who is an aspiring entrepreneur wants to start an online business that doing a clothing company is a great place to start and take what you learn from that into any other business. I will continue to use clothing as the example since that's where my expertise is. So when starting a clothing company, you're going to need some designs. And myself, starting off as a young bro college kid, I wore all of the hats. I did everything. So what did I do? I illegally downloaded Photoshop and Illustrator and started learning how to do graphic design myself. I taught myself just by watching YouTube videos and on websites, but after a couple days, I was starting to get the hang of it. But then after a couple of weeks, that's where I was really getting the swing of things and able to start making clothing designs. And if design is something that you don't think you have the creative edge for, then I do recommend reaching out to your network, any friends you may have, maybe some friends from college that do know graphic design and could help out, or looking for freelancers on websites like Upwork, or even using Alibaba.com directly. And when you are talking to manufacturers, a lot of them do have designers and artists that can help you out directly when you are ordering your products. And now this all leads me into key number three. When I started Fortune, like I said, I was doing everything myself. I had my grandma's sewing machine in my tiny college dorm room and was sewing every single order and then even shipping it out myself. And I realized that this was unscalable. I couldn't be more efficient. I couldn't grow and make more products and be able to get more orders. I was already staying in pretty much every single weekend trying to fulfill orders, so I already had no life as it was. So I knew that I needed to take things to the next level and figure out a better operation. 
Actually, what made me realize this was at the same time in college, I remember coming down here to Chinatown and I bought a turtle. And when I asked the turtle man how big my turtle will get, he told me that the turtle will only get as big as its tank. And I don't think he understood the significance that's had on my life, but I just recall always having that saying in the back of my mind, where my business will only get as big as its tank. And in this case, that was my tiny college dorm room with my sewing machine. Pretty much, I knew that I needed a bigger tank to get a bigger business. I gotta go back and thank that turtle man. You know, he like really changed the business game for me. <laughs> so moral of the story was, I needed to find a manufacturer. I just had no idea how. So when starting off, it is really difficult to try and find a good and reliable manufacturer. I was even taking classes here in the city at the Fashion Institute of Technology, and I remember asking my professors, but they didn't really have any insights. And then I also was asking friends who had clothing brands and could maybe help out. And something that I didn't know then was that it is not very common for a clothing brand or any business to just give up their sources for free. And I didn't understand that at the time but now it does make a lot of sense to me. After going through that process of trying to find a good manufacturer, I totally get it. Since a company probably spent weeks, if not months, and a lot of money trying to find the perfect source for their company. So why should they just give that knowledge out for free to a kid like me? So weeks went by, I was still sewing all the orders while simultaneously looking online, trying to find somewhere to help me manufacture my clothes. And that's when I stumbled across a website Alibaba.com. True story. This is a major key. Alibaba.com essentially gives you all of the keys to the kingdom from around the world. So if you want to limit less and sell more, Alibaba.com is the source for you. All right, so let's head to Alibaba.com and let's say that you want to get socks made. So we type in socks, right? Hold on. That glare is really annoying me. Much better. Just sorry for the uh, New York City ambiance. Excuse me, I'm uh, trying to vlog here. All right, where were we? So say you want to get socks made. Oh my gosh, it is so loud outside. <laughs> so let's say you want to get socks made. We type it in right here on Alibaba under the products, and then we will have thousands of manufacturers from all over the world that make socks. You can even take it a step further and categorize it by your minimum order. So if you only want to get 100 socks made, you can type that in right there, and you can also do your min and max price. And in addition, you can also pick what country you want your manufacturer to be in. So if you want it to be in the United States or Turkey or Belarus or China, you can get the results for all of that right here. And that is exactly how I got these socks made right here. So back in college when I first found out about Alibaba.com, it was a whole new ball game. I could now get a bigger tank and grow my business. I remember when I first heard about Alibaba.com that I was so excited that I did not sleep for weeks. I just couldn't believe that the key to all my problems was just handed to me. I was 19 years old in my college dorm room and was able to be an international businessman. So thanks to Alibaba.com, I was able to talk to manufacturers in Poland, India, China, the US, or pretty much anywhere around the world and find the one that was best for me with fortune. And at the time, I was doing a lot of intricate cut and sew pieces. So even this was one of the first samples I've ever created and got made with fortune. As you can see, there is a lot of attention to detail with this one piece. I kind of went overboard with it, where we have the fortune neck label and then this all over print, which is a brick that is the fortune logo. So one of that as like a polka dot, as well as another woman label that is on the inside of the seam, as well as another one then on the pockets. So from there, I got the sample. It was great. So I ordered them in bulk and in a few weeks, I had hundreds of these shirts taking up my college dorm room. And in addition to my tiny dorm room being my warehouse, I also had to ship everything myself. I vividly remember pulling up to the USPS by my dorm room where I would just carry a Santa Claus sack with all of the orders a couple times a week. But this again was limiting me and I couldn't grow my business bigger than my tank, or should I say dorm room. So this is what leads me into key number four. 
So at this point, you have your product, you have a good reliable manufacturer, and you're getting a couple orders in every week that you're able to ship yourself. But if you're like myself, I love to travel and I wanted to figure out a way to be able to operate my business from anywhere in the world online digitally. And that's when I learned about dropshipping. For those of you who don't know what dropshipping is, here's Super Sandy to explain. So you want to know about dropshipping, eh? So dropshipping is a retail fulfillment method in which the business does not keep the products it sells in stock. So for example, when you buy something, it gets shipped to you directly from the source. I gotta go. So Alibaba.com allows you to do exactly this with their ready to ship products where you can sell products on your website and whenever a customer makes an order, it goes directly to the manufacturer that you use and they will make the product and then ship it out once it's ordered. You never have to touch the product yourself. So once I was able to figure this out and get it to operate smoothly, I was able to operate my business remotely and be pretty much anywhere in the world and still run fortune. And this is when Operation Brett the Globetrotter came in. So I packed my bags and posted up in Asia for four months, all while still growing my clothing company. I was using Alibaba.com to still grow my product line and started making jackets, socks, other types of t-shirts, and pretty much any garment I could think of. And at this point, I had recently gotten into the chain store Zoomies, which has 700 plus locations here in the US. I wasn't in all of them, but I did have them in about maybe 20 to 50 of them at this time. And I vividly remember posting up at a coffee shop in Vietnam and getting thousands of products made for fortune and having them shipped directly to Zoomies without myself ever having to see or touch them. Since with Alibaba.com, I was able to find a very reliable manufacturer where whenever I would get an order from Zoomies, I would forward it to the manufacturer. They would make the exact amount of products exactly how I needed them and ship them directly to Zoomies. It was the most satisfying thing, knowing that I could be in the middle of nowhere Vietnam and still be able to operate my business. Now at this point in the video, you're probably thinking to yourself, this sounds cool and all, but how the do I get customers? So let's go over a couple of quick tips that will help with this. To the overhead rig. So for the social ad, I wanted to showcase the process to you guys of what that's like. So right now we are down at the pier. We have uh, downtown Manhattan right here with the World Trade Center and we're gonna shoot a photo and then run an ad for a Labor Day sale since today's Labor Day. And then going to share with you guys the ROI of it and see how much money that ad generates. So let's shoot this photo and get to work. You wanna know about job shipping? <laughs> Yo, that's gonna be me forever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm back at the studio now and we have the photo right here that I threw into Photoshop, put some text on it talking about the Labor Day sale with 30% off. And then over here we have the Facebook business where I will be running an Instagram story. So let's click publish and get this thing live. And voila, we are live with our Instagram story ad. And since I need to post this video, I'm not going to be able to show the ROI in this video, but if you do, follow me on Instagram right here. I will be sharing the amount of money that this ad generated for me. Really curious to see how this does perform. I do have a lot to thank to Alibaba.com for having these resources where I can do all of this and get easy access to the sources I need. And right now they are having their Super September where they're offering their products and services at the lowest price they'll be at all year. Spend less, sell more. That's business with Alibaba.com. If you do wish to learn more, you can click the link down below. But that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and we will see you all next week.